Let's look at the math of buying now versus buying six months ago. What we have here is two different places, a million dollars in March of 2022 and today in March of 22, the average close price was about 5% over. So that would be a million 50 as a price. Today with the discounts and the fact that there's not a lot of demand, let's say we're at 950,000, we're getting a deal. Okay. 20% down in March of 22 would be $210,000 and 20% down today would be 190,000. So you've saved $20,000, which you possibly could put into the house creating more value. In March, the whole argument is that rates were at 3% on a jumbo and they were. Right now, the, the rate that I just looked up was 5.625 on a jumbo. Now let's do the numbers. The mortgage payments, we're not doing taxes, we're just doing interest and payments. That is $3,541.47, which is fantastic for a million dollar house, very small. The payment now is probably less than you think. It's not double, it's $4,495. The spread on that is about $900, give or take 50 bucks. Now here's where it gets interesting. You paid $100,000 less for the house and your payments over five years, that's the normal state of house, is $57,240 more buying today versus March. So yes, on paper right now, it looks like this is the play to buy in March of last year. However, in five years, when you go to sell this place, this is the big difference. You paid a million fifty to get in and you paid nine fifty to get in, which means that when you sell, you're going to make another hundred thousand dollars, which almost doubles the savings that you have from buying in March of 22. The biggest thing though that people always forget is that you can refinance this 5.625, which means that every time you refinance this place, this payment lowers. Actually, if the rates just go to 5.25, let's say they dip just a little bit more, which is gonna happen, you actually save another $12,000 from 57, which means that, oh my Lord, you now have doubled the savings by buying today. This is not always the case, but I just wanna make sure that people know that it's not not cut and dry that you had to buy in March of 22 at 3% versus today or in the next couple months. The numbers don't lie.